In his early years, Robert Downey Jr. was a talented actor. You saw him in his 20s as a teen actor in Weird Science and Less Than Zero. Already here, he showed his talent and he was really on the rise. He was renowned for his acting skills in the 90s and his role in Chaplin earned him a BAFTA reward. This was a time where Downey had success in Hollywood, but there was trouble looming on the horizon. His troubled relationship with alcohol saw him decline. He originally played in Ally McBeal for a certain amount of episodes, but he was dismissed over drug charges in the 2000 and 2001. And here you saw him really in a downfall. Directors was hesitating to hire him. His alcohol and other drug abuse was really starting to take a toll on him. Many companies wouldn't pay an insurance for him to act in 2003, but then Mel Gibson stepped up to pay the expenses. Although he had some movies before Tropic Thunder and Iron Man, it was those movies that really made him into an international star and made him rise into Hollywood again. Here you really began to see him at the height of his powers, especially he fits the role perfectly as this arrogant billionaire in Iron Man. And I really don't think anyone could have played that better than him. I mean, it's really enjoyable to see how he acts in that role. That comeback garnered a lot of attention and you saw how many people wrote about the great comeback of Mr. Downey. Other movies like Tropic Thunder and the two Sherlock Holmes movies he played in also casted a light on him as a rising movie star that really made a name for himself. After he became sober, Robert Downey Jr. really managed a huge endeavor that many people are not able to do. The way he rose from the abuse and kickstarted his career again is simply groundbreaking. Now, Downey Jr. became known to everybody as Iron Man, one of the Avengers, and he starred in movies like Avengers, Age of Ultron, and Captain America Civil War. In addition to this, he also reprises his role in two other Iron Man movies. In all these movies, many people agree that Iron Man is one of the coolest characters in the Marvel Universe. It's hard to say why this character has had such a resurgence, but many people believe it to be Robert Downey as the driving force. In the dark years, when he was in jail, all this media attention and success seemed unlikely for Downey. But his comeback just points to his unbelievable strong character. In all his movie roles, I will argue that you see a strong character. Even in a movie like Due Date, you see a character that is willing to fight over his problems. In this movie, you see him more in a unique role as this guy who needs to do a road trip as he after an incident is banned from taking any flights. His dynamic here with Zach Galfiniakis is really good. He shows first and foremost Robert's ability to bridge into different genres. Whether it is a comedy, action or thriller movie, Robert Downey can fit them all and he is to this date one of the best actors in Hollywood. For many people it is really inspiring to see that if you work hard and try to solve your problems, there is no limit to what you can achieve. And that's a really inspiring note to end on.